Good morning everybody. It's a nice cold January day. I am taking Charlie and Cody. He's back there. I'm taking them both hiking today. We're going to go to the Enterprise Center, um, the Volkswagen Park, by the plant. Um, they love it. Cody has been there since he was a baby. He absolutely loves it. Charlie has been there for the first time last week and he absolutely loved it. So today I'm going to take them out there again. Um, it is colder than expected, but this two wanted to go out anyway, so I might as well take him. So just dress warmly, and we're going to go and have a good time, huh? See you when we get there. We are here. We're getting excited, huh? We're here. We're about to go on a trail. We've been back there last week. This week we're gonna go that way. I've been on this trail with Cody once before. It's a little bit longer than the other one, but we will be okay. It's actually a little bit warmer up here than it was, um, even though it's only about 10 minutes away from our house. There's not as much fog here, and it looks like the sun is starting to come up, so it should be a good day to go for a hike. When do you think, are you ready to go? Yes. Mmm. Ah, <gasps> me hanging. Fine then, no kisses for you. Alright, I'm gonna get our stuff and then we'll go. I know that some people have recommended to get the leash that goes around your waist um, for hands free. However, that does not work for us. For two of them, they just pull too much. So we figured out our own way, haven't we, Cody? We tie both leashes to the backpack that I carry because I always carry a backpack with a hat and some sunscreen and some water for us and some snacks for us. So um, we are, I tie one to one side and one to the other side of the bag and then as they're free to roam around but they're still attached to me and I can get them back if I need to. Yes. Thank you for kisses. Thank you for kisses. Um, so that just works for us. Everybody to their own, whatever works. Okay, I guess we are. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go on the trail now. So, this is what we do. They're both tied to me currently, just like so. I also have this because it's a drill towel because they both drill. And I just attach our keys and then we go. We park. There's a couple other cars here today, so we're gonna try to be respectful. And we are on a hike. The only downside that I've found so far to having them tied to me is that they do get crisscrossed sometimes, so sometimes you do need to undo them, but sometimes they just undo themselves. So this is where we're going today. Let's have a good hike, children. So there's the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday one. Right there. And there's also the Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Today is Tuesday. So we're gonna go on the Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. It really doesn't really matter which one you go on. They're both pretty much the same loop. It's just two different ways of getting up. It's so nice and peaceful and quiet. Nothing but trees and nature. It's lovely. How you guys doing, huh? Come on. Let's continue. And we go. We were on the trail down there. Then we came up to this paved area. There's a bunker over there, but I think it's closed. Um, the park has the park has many bunkers like this around. 
Some of them get open, some of them close. There's nothing actually in them, but it is kind of cool to just step in there and see what it was like during the war where they kept all their supplies and where people were hidden. We did run into a couple with two smaller dogs that also came this way. They were really nice. And now we're going to go turn around and find our path again. And continue walking. There it is. This is number 99. So even though some of the trails are dirt and then they lead to a paved area, there are the signs around the paved area to help you find your trail. This one is Poran Overlook. It's just an overlook, not a trail. And there are a lot of trails here that allow bikes, but this one does not. We are, this is Return to Trailhead. And that one is Deer Hollow Trail. Good morning. Good morning. So, the continuation for the Tuesday Thursday Trail is somewhere in back there. But we're just going to continue on this trail for right now. Just to get something new for them that we haven't been on. And a lot of the trees have marks like this also to tell you where you're going and where you're at. And we're heading back to the parking spot. We started our trail over there. <coughs> Excuse me. And we came back from over here. So for us, we just pick a trail and go. And sometimes we stick to that trail and go. And sometimes, like today, we just end up on a different trail altogether. But, um... The good thing about the spark and why we love the spark so much is there's always signs to for directions and always signs always signs for directions and always signs street signs and trailhead signs so it's all good there's another one over here that we haven't done yet so maybe we'll do that next time so the first thing I do when we get back to the car is get our water bowl and give them water. I always have a bowl in my bag with water. Sometimes we drink on the trail, sometimes we just keep going. It just depends on which trail it is. Um, and our trails we usually do an hour to three hours. Today we we're here for about an hour and a half. Just depends if we have something to do. We are here for a short time. And if not, we just take our time and go from trail to trail. That's why I always keep everything along with me. Today we do have a meeting at 12.30. Hi, children! I was a little bit concerned about Cody because we took him to the vet yesterday. The day before yesterday, our dog trainer was with us. And we noticed for the whole week that Cody's kind of been scooting his bottom on the floor and carpets, like itching it. And we got concerned because it's not something that they normally do. And um, she told us it might be an anal gland issue, so we took him to the vet to check it out. And Lord behold, it was, and he had to get like all squeezed out, which was really gross and smelled really, really, really bad. And he was in so much pain when that happened, but I'm sure he's better now. He's also about an hour after that. He's just been running and back to himself, so I just can't even imagine having your anal glands swollen, full of stuff, and not being able to release it. So now we're just here chilling. We're about to have some snacks. They're looking at that stroller, and everything here is great. And I will go back home. Lunch at Panera. What are you having? A steak sandwich. A steak sandwich. Can I see it? I'm having a salad. A great salad. Waiting for tea. With a papaya green tea. Hi. 
time. I mean, yeah. So the day that we had the hike and then we had to come back for a meeting, we actually did not have that meeting. Um, the meeting was supposed to be with a florist that was supposed to create our flowers for the wedding or at least talk about what we wanted for the wedding because we don't need a lot from the florist. And this specific person, who I'm not going to name for reasons, I don't want to destroy their business or whatnot, but they didn't, we were supposed to have a Zoom call and they didn't send us any links or anything. And they didn't message us or call us. Well, the day before we got a message from their system getting, saying, hey, don't forget this meeting is happening tomorrow. And then we tried to reach them, no answer. Um... No Zoom call, no nothing. And we were waiting and waiting and waiting. And this person didn't even call us to see why we weren't there or anything. Then they had the nerve to come back and send us a message saying that they're sorry that we missed the meeting for no reason. And I was like, you could have texted or called or anything if you saw that we weren't online at the Zoom call. Anyway, so Panera wasn't our first option, but I have to say, being a gluten-free person and going there, we ended up getting lunch, honestly, because... Anyway, so we had a few errands to run before we met, and we got her a little early, so we got a little bit of lunch. And I have to say, being a gluten-free person in Panera wasn't easy, but they do have options. Um, they're just not on the board, so having to stand in line and talk to the cashier doing rush hour for lunch. Because <laughs> they do have some kiosks that you can just go and get whatever you want. You can order online on their kiosks. But I had to actually go and talk to someone and it took a little while, but we figured it out. But it was yummy. Um, and then our meeting went pretty well. We got some uh, good ideas, a good game plan. And we're going to take it out slowly. We're going to um, make it work. What are you two doing? Godzilla and Godzilla. We need some energy out. Here we come. Hello. So we're going date night after a while, not going date night. We're going to Dave and Buster's. Thanks to a coupon. Thanks to a coupon. Don't tell you me that. Why not? <laughs> it's not really a coupon though, is it? They had a deal where you spent some money and then they doubled your points. Yeah. So it's not really a coupon, it's more like a deal, a bargain. Yeah. <laughs> a bargain deal. So we're going to have a good time? Yep. Yes, and the children are in bed? Yep. <laughs> With the TV we'll on. Be partying until one in the morning. No such thing. Are you excited? Yeah. For, for date night? Yeah. We haven't been out in a while, huh? Not in a week or so, no. Not in a week or so. What did we do last week? No, we haven't been out in a while. It's been a while, actually.
The Devin Masters was fun. It was just really noisy and really crowded for no reason. The guy said it was the busiest day he's ever seen it. Yep. And now we're walking over to Cheesecake Factory to have some cake. And then we're gonna walk it off by walking back to the car that's near Dave and Buster's. And then we're kinda walking off by walking back. Technically we're walking half of it off right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna go back to see our children. Hold her and let them go to sleep and then watch a movie. Yeah. We can watch Something Encanto. Like the Encanto uh, special. special. We don't talk about Zachary. There actually is a that casino is a in Murphy, North Carolina. Like oh, there's one in, the in Cherokee. And the Godiva Gluten Free Chocolate. Oh, yeah.